In this video, we'll write the formula here for magnesium phosphide. So magnesium, right here on the periodic table, that's a metal. Phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. So we have an ionic compound. We're going to need to worry about charge as we write the formula for magnesium phosphide. Let's first write the element symbols. Magnesium, that's Mg. And phosphide, that's the phosphorus atom here, that's P. So we can look at the periodic table. You see that it's organized by charge here, which is kind of nice. So magnesium group two, everything in group two, is two plus. That's its ionic charge. Phosphorus, three minus. So right now, we have an imbalance in the ionic charge. These charges, they need to add up to zero. The net charge needs to be zero. Right now, they don't. But we can use a little trick to help us do that. It's called the crisscross method. We take the two, we move it here, and the three here. We'll get rid of the charges. And that's the formula for magnesium phosphide. But we should check our work. So remember we said magnesium group two, that's two plus. Phosphide, that's the three minus. So the magnesium atoms should cancel out the charge on the phosphorus atoms. Let's see if that works. Three times two plus, that's six plus. Two times three minus, that's six minus. 6 minus 6 plus, that adds up to 0. Net charge is 0. This is the correct formula for magnesium phosphide. Let's clean it up a little bit, and then we'll get rid of these charges here. And there you have it, magnesium phosphide. And there you have it, the formula for magnesium phosphide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.